Have you heard about the tragedy of Darth Plagueis? Or have you heard about the tragedy that is the Acolyte? Tragic. Utterly tragic. This interview here, this interview with Leslie Headland was done with Collider. It's actually, what you'll, you'll see like there's a lot of videos referencing this from all over the internet, I'm sure. Because it's really revealing. So, I've done a few videos on it now. And this is, this is like the cherry on top. This is the pièce de résistance, however you say it. Why? Because she's quite literally saying how, you know, this power, <laughs> the power to create life, all comes from women. So even even Plagueis, he learned it from women. Yep. So he created Anakin because he he learned it he learned it from the the space lesbos, the lesbo space witches. Good. Force is female, hey. So let's take a look at this. Please do hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn those burn notifications on. God damn it. Like, I don't even care about Star Wars, but this is just... I mean, well, I do care, to be fair. I'd like something good to be out there. <sighs> but anyway, Leslie Headland has asked this. There's another character that's shown in this, and I'm very curious to talk about them. Are we ready to talk about the tragedy of Darth Plagueis? Just as an FYI, do you remember my review of the episode? I quite literally say Gollum looking mother effer. The, the reference point for this, I didn't know this at the time, but the reference point for Darth Plagueis was legitimately Gollum. <laughs> you couldn't make this up. You couldn't make this up. Anyway, so Headland replies, yeah, we are. I'm very proud of the character design. It took a long time, like we were saying the last time, obviously, we were doing a mun. Their hands are different, so showing the hand first felt like a nice tell. Really? You don't think that the face was going to tell what the, you know what it was? Re really? You want a like, creepy little hand out of the way? Really? You could have done something much cooler than him creeping out of a cave entrance if you really wanted to show his hand first, right? You could have had him like... I don't know, like grip a chair and stand up and then walk out. I mean, even that's cooler. Fucking creepy ass hand. Guy's a wanker. Anyway. Uh, but also, again, the Crimson Peak reference of this should not feel like a display of power. This should feel creepy. Why should it feel creepy? I think we achieved that. I thought it was important that he be in the cave. <laughs> Why? Why was it important he was in a cave? You know, the call's coming from inside the house. He's already there in the in a very intrusive way. So that was the thought around that. But yeah, baby, Plagueis. So why is it important he's in the cave, sorry? It's important, is it, it's important he's in a cave because the call is coming from inside the house. Or oh, whatever. I'm so excited, Collider Shill says. I literally lost my mind when he popped up because it's very cool. You sure you had a mind to lose? Does the stranger know that they have a roommate or is this like a parasite situation? <laughs> Let's leave that up to the future. Of course he knows. If he doesn't know, what on earth is going on? Was Here it is. Gollum. Was the design mocap or was it completely visual effect? Completely visual effects. The reference that I used was Gollum in Fellowship of the Ring. You don't want to totally reveal the character design right now, but you definitely want to see enough of it that you understand this is going to be a player. This is just ridiculous. So there's that. Then there's this. This is all. This is this is talking about the forces female. Kathleen Kennedy on high. Forces female, of course it is. Oh, God, I hate these people so much. <sighs> anyway, a justification for what he's done. It's talking about soul, but it's important. I've got to read some of this stuff. So Edlin says, definitely. A justification, but he's grasping for, this is why I did this. If your mother created you, this is crazy. This is the level of discovering some sort of natural resource that we have never seen. A, a natural resource like just having, having sex? Because you could just do that, couldn't you? A natural resource like, you know... Getting your dick wet. Like, <laughs> smashing the pasty. 
Like what? It's not. I mean, that's that's as natural resources you can get creating life. What are you talking about? Is this some like weird allegory for like artificial insemination now or something? God, test you babies. Uh, this is the level of discovering some sort of natural resources that we've never seen. Like he says in episode seven, this should be studied. I th I never understood that. I think that the thing with Osha and May is again we have to understand what your power is, and if you have that power, the same power as your mother which we foreshadow at the beginning of episode 8, then we've got to have it. People can't go out there and start doing that. We need to study it, and we need to respect it. I think it's noble intentions. I think the idea is, there's this power out there, and we should, we should carefully and thoroughly explore it. Yeah, well, you still murdered souls, so it doesn't really matter, does it? What I think is going on with Plagueis... Wait for it, guys. What I think is going on with Plagueis is that he also knows this has happened. Right, okay. He also is aware, or will quickly become aware, of this aspect of the Force existing. This is why i got to say I disagree with the criticism of, well, so-and-so didn't have it, and Palpatine, why do these women have it? Of course you're going to disagree with that, you misandrist. First of all, we're in a completely different part of the timeline, she says. Second of all, if I'm going to tell the story of Plagueis, which I would love to do, I don't think anyone wants you to tell the story of Plagueis. Like, no one. Maybe, like, two people. Like, absolutely love to do. Him pursuing that power is so much more interesting as a storyline than him already having it. You know what, though? When you're creating a TV show, you could write about anything. So, you could write a way in which he's found the power, which is better, and makes much more sense than just getting it from Lesbo Space Witches. But okay. It would be like if you started Infinity War with Thanos having all the Infinity Stones. You're like, well, what are we going to do for two hours? That's, yeah, okay, but I don't trust you to write a good story. Anyway, it says this, we're going to fight. You want to feel that like, uh, what is it so sorry? Oh, we've got to stop him. We've got to get to him before, oh no, we're taking some L's at every point. Then it culminates. Now that he has this power, we must. And then the stakes get to raise. To me, that's just so much more interesting. Also, Maggie, I don't know if anyone else is aware of this. Some women have uteruses. <laughs> Sorry. Is this, a, is this a left winger telling me what a woman is? Ah. Uh, wait, we do? Collider show laughs. I don't mean to shock you. I don't want to rock your world right now. But it's not like Shmi was hanging out on Tatooine and Anakin just showed up. You know what I mean? She would have been like, anyway, Qui-Gon. And he was like, what happened? And she was like, well, this kid showed up at my door. She got pregnant. Coril got pregnant. If that were part of someone's ability, then they would have to somehow pursue an unknowing woman. So that power, starting with women. So these are the first people to create life. Makes sense to me. The power exists out there. They do their best to harness it. They make it happen. That's right. It's women, baby. It's all women. Forces female, baby. I don't know. It just seems logical to me. That's because you're a woman and you're a misandrist and you're bizarre and you're strange. That's what makes sense to you. I don't mean to be argumentative. It's just in my mind it made so much sense that this was a power that Sith would be looking for and that women would be the originators of being able to, at least in the timeline, I'm sure other beings can have it, but within the timeline saying, well, there are some witches, and they tried to do it, and it split, and it became two people instead of one. <sighs> it's super lame. So the force is female. Force is female. It makes sense to me, Collider Shill says. Is the yellow willow tree maybe symbolic of where the virgins could be on Brendock? Or is it just a pretty nature scene? I want like a mural of it. It's such a beautiful shot. It's beautiful. Kevin Jenkins made that happen. Yimu Zhang, who directed the movie Hero, the colour palette in that is just astonishing. So the orange dust, the kofar, and then the yellow tree. We wanted to have these big pops of colour. Oh no, I don't give a shit about the rest of this. Um, there you go. There's not really much else in here. Um, again, mainly just the thing that, uh, yes, 
The Force is indeed female. Lesbo Space Witches. So much better than Darth Plagueis. Come on now. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.